Hi. How's it going? This probably going to be a short episode. This, this is all... I decided that I was going to grind for Covenant stuff. All the Covenants. I'm not done yet. I've got, um... What is it? I've maxed out... Uh, Aldridge Faithful. I've maxed out... Uh... Rosaria's Fingers without joining the Covenant. I've maxed out, uh, well, I've almost maxed out the Sunbros. So all that's left at the moment is uh, Mound Makers and Dark Moon Blade. Because it turns out Dark Moon Blade is dead. I, I, and Farron. I maxed out Farron. That was dead as shit. I, uh, I've recorded all of the, all, all of the uh, stuff. I got. I recorded me getting the items and looking at the descriptions and all that for the covenants that I maxed out. Farron, uh, Aldrich Faithful. Haven't done Vazavias yet. You know what, I'm gonna just show you now. I got 25 Sunlight Medals, so I'm almost at 30. I got uh, 35 Power Tons because I went overboard. I got 40 Aldrich Faithful uh, Human Dregs because I wasn't sure if it was 10, 20 to make 30 or 10, 30 to make 40. So I did that. I only got two of those. I haven't really worked on that yet. And goddamn, the ears haven't been dropping me. But you know how much it takes to grind? Like to get 30 goddamn tongues. You know how many, you know how many goddamn dark wraiths I had to kill? You know how many dark wraiths I had to kill? You know how many dark wraiths I had to kill? Look! Look at the amount of goddamn dark armor I have. Look at this. They would drop all of their gear, but not the goddamn. They, they would drop it all. They would drop all of their gear, all of their gear, but not the goddamn god tail tongues. Also for the uh, sword grass. You know how many of these guru fuckers I had to kill? Like, god, hundreds, hundreds. It was, it was hell. And I'm probably gonna just show, it because like all of the, all of this episode is gonna be just a short like this is my pain basking it. <laughs> well, I'm just gonna um probably just cut in me farming the uh and know probably the dark graves and the guru just to show like what I did. Uh, what else? Probably splicing me reading the descriptions because because I read I read them and there's no point in me doing it now, but. Is while while we're here, I wanted to get something done because I don't I don't want to progress with the game until I get it done because especially the Dark Moon Blade and Aldrich Faithful, those two, those two covenants directly correlate with the next boss we're gonna fight. So I wanted to um get those done first. So yeah, but I want oh. I'm gonna just make this the time where I just read all the descriptions for the armor that we found. Well, that came unlocked when we kill shit. And I just, I've bought it all. I've bought it all because in all my grinding and all my invasions, I have easily Ashen acquired one. over one million <laughs> souls. Which is a problem because in like the seven, eight hours, probably more of grinding, there was a time when my brain switched off. And when my brain switched off, I may have leveled up. Because I wasn't thinking, and my brain was just like, I have souls to level up, I'll level up. So, like, I wasn't thinking. So now, I've jumped from, like, level 54 to 95. Yeah. Which is also why I've got, um, oh, I, you see me using this shield. This badass shield and Iron Tarkus's or Night Slayer Sorig's gear. Because I may have leveled up a bit without thinking. That's a shame, but I'm basically done with leveling for the rest of the game now. Souls mean nothing to me apart from buying stuff. Oh, how may I feel? Anyway, so just gonna get this out of the way. Uh, leather armor made from smooth leather, even lighter, more flexible than most leather armors. Okay, nothing there. Okay, uh, nothing there. Undead Legion Helm. Attire of the Abyss Watchers, the Undead Legion of Farron. These undead warriors vowed to partake of wolf blood. They acted in the dark, seeking out any sign of the Abyss, fighting a constant war with its abominations. This pointed steel helm, with its distinct symbol of the Legion, shirk 
Yeah, yeah, shirked as a sinister omen by the masses. So these guys partake in wolf's blood. So did they go up to that big ass wolf in Farron and like drink his blood or what? Because they all shared in the wolf blood, which is why in the second phase of the Undead Legion fight, all of the blood correlated in one Undead Legion member and empowered him. I don't know. But they, they vowed to fight the Abyss and seek out all signs of it and find its abomination. So the Abyss is still a thing. The Abyss is still ever encroaching and they do their best to stop it. We have Henri's gear. Ah, oh, poor Henri. Helm said to have been given to the elite knights of the fallen Ostora. I don't know why my brain... I don't know why my brain sort of died of reading that, but okay. The mere mention of Astora invokes wistful pang. Uh, the mere mention of Astora <laughs> invokes wistful pangs, and perhaps it was such a dream that drew Anri to this faraway home, known only by name. So does that does that mean that Anri didn't come? Like, I. Like, what are they trying to get at there? The mere mention of a store invokes wishful pangs, and perhaps it was such a dream that drew Anri to this far away home known only by name. So, did Anri actually not come from Astora? Like, maybe family came from Astora, like the family bloodline, but Anri herself did not come, for, come from Astora. And so, was searching for Astora, wanted to find Astora, or maybe Anri found Astora and then found this gear. I'm not sure. How, how that's written seems weird to me. That drew her to this far away home known only by name. So that tells me that, 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 that says to me that Anri, like, wasn't originally from Astora, but found Astora, or descendant from Astora. I, I, it's, I don't know. Helm a favour, we all remember this shit. I'm trying to remember the guy's name now. Uh, not, not, no, not Luca too. It was, um, ah, oh, what was his name? I can't remember. Guy from Dark Souls 1, the arsehole that kills, um, Anastasia. Anastasia, actually. Is Anastasia Anastasia? I'm forgetting so many character names. I think it's Anastasia. I'm pretty sure it's Anastasia. I only think Anastasia because people who don't remember say her name is Anastasia and that always used to annoy me. So I think it's Anastasia. Anyway, going off track. Helm of the Pitable Embraced Knight depicts the affection of the goddess Fina. Adrift on a sea of isolation, only his faith in the love of his goddess remained true and so the knight forsook all else. Uh. The face is crafted to depict the goddess's embrace, quite ignoring the fact that her love is in fact as fickle as the weather. Yeah, that, that's uh, that's referring to the fact that the uh, it, it, the armor is emulated to have arms wrapped around you as if it's embracing you from behind, which these goddesses love. And that's the same. Okay, Eastern helm, distinctive helm made in an eastern land. The exquisite craftsmanship and artistic design made these prized pieces in the collection of any noblesman. Noblesman? Nobleman. Offers excellent damage resorption, particularly from slashing attacks from katanas, which are commonly encountered threats in battles for in eastern or for in the east. I like how like because it's a Japanese game, you bring you bring out Japanese arms like, oh no, this is look at this, this is this is distinctive, this is this is exquisite craftsmanship. But all the other stuff is like, yeah, it's pitable. Yeah. An attire, I guess. It's like, okay, Japan, calm down. Uh, black iron stuff. A helm made of black iron from the set of armor for which Night Slayer Sorig was infamously known. Offers extensive and yeah, extensive and particularly effective protection from fire, which is good because all, and I mean all, of the Lords of Cinder that you fight, their second phase is fire attacks. There was the Undead, it was the uh, Abyss Watchers who second phase went fire mode. Yorm, when the fight went on, he just exploded fire. 
This would have been helpful for me fighting the old, the, um, old Demon King, but hindsight's 2020. Executioner Helm, still helm of Horus the Hus, who took a liking to its cold, bulky insides. That's a strange man right there. The original owner was said to be a corrupt executioner who was killed and stripped of his armor. Horus is only one. Yeah, Horus is one of only two children to escape Aldrich's clutches. So that might be why Henri's questline is they want to kill Aldrich. And uh, if you don't progress Henri's quest the way I did, you can summon Henri for the Aldrich fight. She has some dialogue when you win, and then she goes insane. Like she hollows out. I'll probably have to show that on another character. Exile Mask, I believe I've worn it. Or not worn, I believe I've read this. Iron Mask of the Watchdogs of Fans Keep. After the, lead, after the Allegiance Watchers became Lords of Cinder, the wolf blood dried up and Farron was consumed by a festering wood. Within the wood, a emaciated old wolf commands watchdogs to defend the sanctity of sleeping warriors. Both the exiles were, yeah, both the exiles were surely watchdogs themselves, for Farron had always been a land of uh, intermittence. Don't know what that word means, but I'm pretty sure I've read that. Carla's pointed hat. Hat of the Dark Witch Carla, pointed hat, the signature of uh, a reticle sorceress. Carla, however, kept it close. Wait, a pointed hat is a signature of a reticle. So, so it's a common thing that's not just exclusive to Carla. Fair enough. That's, that explains why um, Yuria had it. That's probably just a callback to Yuria, like, yeah. Yeah, all the heretical sor sorceresses have this hat. We have Beatrice had this hat. Yura has this hat. Or Yuria, sorry. And now Carla. I don't think there was anyone like this in Dark Souls 2. Uh, Dark Witch Carla. This stained coat is torn and odorous, telling of a long journey and an even longer imprisonment. It would be madness to wear such a thing. Same thing. Same thing. Sanctus Overcoat. Uh, yellowish overcoat covering a band of brass medallions. Sanctus Clothing is a mark of a researcher of lost sorceries. A number of medallions denotes their success. A point of pride for the researchers, even if its significance is lost on others. Yellowish gloves. Uh, Sanctus Clothing is a mark of a researcher of lost sorceries. It said that with golden sorceries, one could manipulate light. Sage's big hat. Enormous hat that completely obscures the face belonged to twin gurus known as the Crystal Sages. The pair are said to be successors to the great sage Logan and this big hat is a symbol of their pedigree. Crown of Volnir, the Carthus Conqueror. Once upon a time, such things were bequeathed uh, judiciously to each of the rightful lords until Volnir brought them to their knees and ground their crowns to dust, then the crowns became one, and Volnir, the one high lord. And that's all that. Do I have uh, the I other Zanxus gear? Oh. Do I have the other Zanxus gear? Um, I should sell all this excess shit. Like I killed, I know I killed Hazel, but did he drop his stuff? Because. You fight him twice. I only remember fighting him once. Did I even kill him that once? Guess not. Huh. Okay, I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna cut to um. Post con with me reading all the uh stuff that I've got so far for uh, covenants. Forgetting the words now. So I'm gonna cut to me reading the stuff for the covenants. I just want to check something first. And I'm not going to end the episode. I'm going to keep doing covenant stuff, and I'll just add on me doing post com for each covenant as I max it out. Which is, so this is going to be an episode that's like a week in the making. Now that's a shame because you can't kill um you can't kill uh Kirk if you've beaten the Deacons of the Deep. And so his slug doesn't appear because I, I, I haven't killed him. And I guess I didn't kill the Xanthus guy the two times either, so he isn't here either. But I find it odd how 
So she's the mother of rebirth, and you'll probably get it in the item descriptions when I max out her covenant, but I can't yet. Because then I'll mess up a Sirius's quest line. But, let me just. Like, Rosaria here, with her long ass black hair. She's creepy. This woman can't talk. She has she had her tongue cut out. And she mothers these weird slug things. And this one, this one slug thing of all, is the most different than all the others. I'm not sure why. When I get the, uh... When, when I get the item descriptions, I'll probably go into it in more detail. Yeah, yeah, pincing. I'll take it from both sides. I get it. But... Yeah, this Mother of Rebirth has a lot of shit that I want to talk about. And also shit I want to read the Covenant descriptions and find out because I haven't done this yet. Although I, still, I still find it interesting how her, her room is just full of cots. Her room is just full of cots and cradles. Because all of these slug things are... All these slug things are basically her children. They're her babies in her mind. I guess. I don't know. But as I, as I was, I was going to say before I went on that little tangent... Is that the people that go into her covenant, when they die, they're reborn as slugs. That's why she's the mother of rebirth. Because when she dies, well, not when she, when you join her covenant and you die, this is what you become. This is what you are when you die. All these slug things are members of her covenant that have died and were reborn as as this. As all these. As to why that some are like plastered to the wall, I don't know. I there's a there's a lot I'm unsure of. Like Like look at this. Like she was she was caged in and something broke in or broke out. And I don't know what. But the, also, why is she here? Who imprisoned her here? Why is why is Rosaria in the Cathedral of the Deep? Why is she? Why was she locked away? Like, like just chained up, barricaded, for whatever reason. Her and her followers were locked away by someone. Because I'm um, one of the archdeacons. Where is the description? It says that one of the Archdeacons uh, worshipped her as a mother of rebirth, but doesn't mention a deacon, like, wanting to seal her away. One of the three Archdeacons of the Deep, one cast off his white crown and left the cathedral stand by Aldridge. That's um, McDonnell, who is the Aldridge faithful guy. Uh... One of the three Archdeacons of Deep once stood over Eldritch's casket with the hope that he would return one day. That was uh, the guy that we fought. Uh, Archdeacon Skirt, where is. One of the Archdeacons. Yeah, one, yeah of the Archdeacons of Deep. One attended to Rosaria, mother of rebirth, who he deemed a goddess. Okay. Where? That is the one Archdeacon we don't have accounted for. The boss fight was the one that stood by his casket. Uh, McDonnell. So I, I guess that one's Royce. So McDonnell is um, the one who we do the Old Just Faithful Covenant with. So the only thing I can... I said I wasn't going to go into detail about this. But the only thing I can think of to make sense is that the Archdeacon that, that uh, attended to Rosaria is this guy. This slug monster is... The Deacon. And it's speculation for another day. Speculation for another day. But for now, I'm now going to cut to... I'm not going to cut to a postcom of me... Reading all of the item descriptions as I got them for the Covenants. And we'll go on from there. Proof of duty fulfilled. The old Ridge faithful. Who patiently wait for the vow of God's return. Dredges. Yep, yep, okay. Oh god, these things, these bloody things, just give me the shit, McDonald. Give me the shit, McDonald. I swear to god, I will kill you. 
Where are you? Where are you? Sorcery Witch improves upon Deep Soul, fires the powerful Dark and Deep Threads, Archdeacon McDonald or Sorcerer himself, delight in the cathedral, stagnating souls for him, they represent the glorious bedrock of this world. Uh, I I guess I I'm so I've been I've been doing this for a while, I'm sorry, I'm a little Uh my brain's not there. Just give me the stuff. Let me read the stuff. I'm done with your covenant now, you can fuck off. Okay, where is it? Uh, mm, there we go. Large staff bestowed upon the Archdeacons of the Deep. Uh, Archdeacon McDonald trespasses as a sin. Channeling faith in sorcery. Transform for those a merely symbol of uh, eccentric authority. Into cat, yeah. Basically, I, d I don't understand. Like, it requires faith and intelligence. So I guess that's heresy in the eyes of normal miracles. Alright, what, what have we got here? What have we got here? Come on, give me your shit. I need to delete all this crap. Curved sword bearing the soul of the old wolf that stays in. Well, it's, yeah, it stays with the Watch Dogs of Fun. This sword, like a wolf on the prowl, boosts attack and restores HP with each successive hit. Or consecutive hit. This is this is a quite a fun weapon to use, I'll be honest. Like, it looks. When, when you uh, use it properly, it looks pretty awesome. It's got a bunch of diagonals and horizontals. And a big. No, no, that wasn't vertical. That was the, that was diagonal still. All right, diagonals. Come on. There we go. There's the there's the verticals. And it's uh, FP stuff. Nope, did it wrong. Did it wrong. Bear with me. Nope. Nope. I think it's a strong attack you have to do instead of R1. There we go. Look at that. That looks pretty cool. That looks pretty cool. And now we got... We got this baby. The great shield of a knight tainted by the dark of the abyss. The master of the wolf's blood of Farron. Boosts consistent defense. Divine protection. This motherfucker right here. Great shield of Artorius right here. Yeah. I might switch to this. This might be my thing from now on. Because it looks awesome. Also I got um... Got a sword, didn't I? Did I get a sword? No, I got a ring. That was it. Uh, ring associated with the Abyss Watcher Artorius, one of the four knights of Gwyn, the first lord, increases poise. It's a lie. It's a lie. It does not increase poise. It's a lie. Curse of a Carthus Swordsman, this weapon's thick heavy blade is crafted to cause bleeding, requires ample strength for the dexterity to wield effectively, suggesting that the swordsman of Carthus I don't give a shit really. I am been dying throughout all of this bloodlust. Katana made a katana of an old mound maker, the mound maker piled sacrifices upon the altar, but became the final offering himself, leaving this katana as a gift for his dear family. And bloodlust. Stain the blade with one's own blood to temporarily grant uncanny sharpness. For one driven by bloodlust, nothing deserves to remain standing. Oh my god. Oh my god, this weapon. N not this weapon, sorry, this entire 
sequence of events of grinding has been slowly killing me. That right, stop kicking. I, I I don't know why, but I expect it to be like a if I shoot if I like strong attack or anything while it's got the blood effect, it shoots out like little little like blood shock waves or something, but it doesn't. But I would expect that. Anyway. And warmth. Peculiar pyromancy of the Malmakers creates a gentle flame that restores HP on touch. They feared separation from the gods and sort of familial bond, perhaps leading to the creation of this flame of harmony. And that's it. That's the Mound Makers. We're fucking done with the Mound Makers, finally. Okay. I just need to point out how incredibly and unbelievably pissed I am right now. I finished grinding all of the fucking ears for the Dark Moon Blade. And when I got 30, I hit the PS4 record button, or the PS4 share button, twice. So it would start recording. I then went to fucking Yushka, Yus Yoska, Yushka, where however it said, and I got all her, I got all the dialogue for her as well as the items, and I read the I read out the items, and then I quit the I quit the recording, quit the game, or well, I said I pressed the PS4 share button again, so it so it saved the recording, quit the game, went to the went to the PS4 media capture whatever thing, looked at the video. And it didn't record the first two thirds. So it will cut out the entire first conversation that she says. It doesn't show the first item. And it cuts off like the first half of the second conversation that she has. As well. Well no that's just it. Like the second item is still there. Let me just double. I can't double check because I'm, I'm moving it to ESP right now. But oh my god I'm so pissed. I'm so fucking pissed. Like, this game just does... I go... I, this shit has taken me a week and a half. And at the final... The final bit. The final home stretch. The game decides to fuck me one last time. Oh, my God. So, I have gone through means to get her recording off of the internet. So, I'm just going to play that now so you can hear what she says when she gives you the dark moon ring and I will then check my recording to see how much of the second uh, the second part was salvaged if half of it is missing I will not add it I'll just I'll just throw in more dialogue from the internet but if the second one is somewhat usable I will throw that in because I think I think maybe the first line or two got cut off. If it's just the first line, then I might leave it. If not, then we'll see. Fuck's sake! This one episode has literally taken a week and a half to fucking put together. This is hell. If thou'st come stumbling here in error, I bid thee leave anon. This tower is a prison. Thy presence shall invoke the ire of the tyrant Sullivan. Though it was a rare delight to converse with another. My thanks, strange visitor. May the dark moon watch over thee. Thou thinks to remain. This tower is a prison. Thy presence shall invoke the ire of the tyrant Sullivan. I bid thee leave anon. May the dark moon watch over thee. Thou art returned. This tower is a prison. Thy presence shall invoke the ire of the tyrant Sullivan. I bid thee leave anon. May the dark moon watch over thee. Art thou a creature of the air? Or other winged thing? No, of course not. Forgive my prying. Think no more on mine asking. I am ashamed to say I know very little of anything. The Dark Moon Knights were once led by my elder brother, the Dark Sun Gwyndolin. 
but he was stricken by illness, and leadership of the knights fell to me. Then Sullivan wrongfully proclaimed himself pontiff, and took me prisoner. Oh, where could my dear brother be? If only he were here, I would be most pleased for ye both to meet, as most assuredly would he. <laughs> oh, this is my brother's finger. How it has thinned and withered. Oh, my thanks. I'm certain thou'st given my brother peace. It is not much, but take this ring. It is not much, but please take this. As my thanks, not as a captain, but as sister to the dark sun Gwendolyn. Thou'st granted me my brother's touch, one last time. My blade of the dark moon, thy deeds merit great worship. As captain, tis my duty to honour knights of great accomplishment. This is a wonder of the dark moon, inherited from my brother for this very purpose. Please, it is thine, and not lightly given, as a shade of Father Gwyn and Sister Guinevere, persevere in thy nightly duty, hunting down the gods' would-be foes. My blade of the dark moon, thy deeds merit great worship. I, Yoshka, captain of this company, hereby recognize thy service. Please, take this, thou art most deserving of it. As a shade of Father Gwyn and Sister Guinevere, persevere in thy knightly duty, hunting down the gods' would-be foes. I would speak to my brother of this one day, of the shining new hope that joined our dear company. I speak of thee, of course. <laughs> all right, all right, listen here, listen here. It has taken over a week to do this shit. The Dark Moon Blade Covenant is dead as fuck. Never got summoned for that in all the time I did it. Mound Makers, as I believe you saw, is fucking aggravating. Fucking Sunlight Warrior wasn't that bad. All just faithful, surprisingly quick. Farron and fucking Rosarius Fingers, which I'm yet to officially join because I can't because I'll fuck up Sirius's quest line. Well, hell. It has taken a week and a half to do this. This episode, a week and a half to do. It physically hurts. It physic. I've had to cancel shit to get this done on time. Ah, uh, and so I'm just I'm just saying this now because I'm just throwing this out there. I'm level 120. I don't give a shit. I ended up with like 2 million souls at one point, so I just said fuck it, and I just leveled to 120. I'm at the meta for PvP now. I am at the point where I don't need levels. I don't need to level ever again. I'm fully aware I have over leveled. I don't care, we're almost at end game. After fucking Aldridge, which is where we're at with Anna Londo, there's two optional boss. Four optional bosses, actually. Four optional bosses. One which is a bitch. And three mandatory bosses. We are at end game, so I don't really care. I just. Oh my god, just. All of this. All of this fucking grinding. Killing mobs over. And I. I got like one ear every 45 minutes. I. I just. I. I am broken. I am a broken man. I... I don't care. I could... I can probably... What the fucking... I can wield this and still quick roll. I'm not gonna because in my opinion the two-handed moveset is kind of trash. This is alright though. Don't get enough swings with it in my opinion. Two-handed moveset kind of trash. But... Um... I might switch to it actually because 
I might actually switch switch to it. I don't I don't know, we'll see. It's just I just want I just I'm just not gonna play this game for a bit now. I'm just gonna stop playing for it. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna go out I'm gonna go out right now. I'm just gonna buy Dragon Ball Z Xenoverse or something. Because I just want to do anything else but this right now. This has been a terrible experience, and if you don't mind, I'm logging the fuck off. Here we go. This shit right here. This is what I'm talking about. Why the fuck did I not buy this soon? I'm hyped as fuck for this shit.